The Windows operating system comes with a folder compression utility that allows you to zip and compress multiple files into a zipped folder. We use this type of utility because it compresses the contents of the zipped folder and it makes the file size smaller, which makes it faster to send over the internet or through email applications. It may seem intimidating now, but it's fairly easy to use. The most important thing to remember when working with the zipped folder is that you always have to unzip the folder before you can work with the files stored inside. Now you're not able to send a regular folder through email as an attachment. Instead, what people do is they typically attach multiple files. But if you have, you know, 10 or 11 files that you want to send somebody, that can be tedious to attach each file. Instead, you just go ahead and you create a zipped folder and you can attach that zipped folder and it will send everything within it. I'm going to go inside of my how to videos folder and I'm going to go to my file scripts, my file management scripts folder and say I wanted to send this to a colleague. I can right click on it and I can choose send to and I can choose this option right here that says compressed zipped folder. And now what you see is it has made an entirely new folder right here and there's a zipper on it. And so I would be able to attach this to an email message. However, when they receive it, they have to know how to use a zipped folder. You have to know how to unzip and uncompress the folder. So basically, when they download it, it's probably going to go into their downloads folder. And then you just double click on the folder, which takes you into this area here that says extract compressed folder tools. And here you have an extract all button. If I click the extract all button, this area opens up basically allowing me to select where I want the file contents to be or the folder contents to be. So I could navigate anywhere on my computer. So I can go to browse and let's say I want to go to documents and maybe I'm going to go into my EVCC classes and I can just go ahead and put it in here. Um, which this is my computer literacy class, so I would just choose select folder and then extract. And now when I go into my EVCC classes right here and then I go into my computer literacy folder, here is my file management scripts folder that we extracted. So that's one technique. You can also go into, oh, where did I put the Oh, here it is right here. So here is the file management scripts folder and it's zipped. Typically what I do is I double click on it and this folder isn't zipped. This folder, if you look inside of it, has everything that I need, but I have to take this folder out of the zipped area. So instead what I usually do is a right click, I choose cut. I then go where I want it to be. In this case, I'm just going to choose desktop and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose my paste option right here. And there's the folder and I would be able to go inside of it and I'd be able to utilize all the files that are inside there.